Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and today's tip 314. I want to make sure I get in here and get this done because I do have class all day today. Um, and what I wanted to say is uh, I'm still looking through this Tony Robbins Awaken the Giant Within book, and this is going back to those uh, seven tips he said about making your life move forward in beautiful, quick, fast, and wonderful ways. And his tips were, today I'm working on day six of the seven tips. And the first day was about emotions and learning to feel good, making sure that when you're not feeling good about yourself that you look for things to feel good about, whether that be um, just like in thinking about uh, mood, like are you feeling sad, uh, just unhappy, despair, worry, or are you feeling happy and joyful and full of love? So you want to kind of shoot for good feel good feelings because better decisions are made when you're in that feel good place well hello i have a few people on i'm not sure who they are but hello and thank you for being here uh so day one was about feeling good controlling your emotions and looking for a good mood number two was about healthy eating how healthy eating will help you to make better decisions and to feel good about yourself and it actually helps how the body feels and I know that that's very true of me hi Jane Ross so good to see you and I know I feel good when I'm eating foods that are healthier and even just a walk in the morning we had a lot of rain yesterday and I walked a couple miles with my mom already this morning well hi Miss Lori well good morning so happy to see you I'd love seeing all these wonderful people my friends um, so number one we want to feel good and feeling good just propels us forward. Number two is healthy eating. Healthy eating has made such a change for me. It's giving me the energy to do things that I could never do before. And that feels so much better for me. Number three was relationships. And what I found really interesting about how he talked about relationships in this is that everybody has different hard, fast rules on what are absolute you know like it's almost when you're getting into a relationship they say you know what are your absolutes well what i didn't realize is that in all relationships some people have absolutes and what we think is an absolute is different than theirs so if they're important in our lives we have to sometimes understand that like tony robbins used an example of he has friends with a very well-known celebrity of course he won't give away those secrets but he said this person said that a good friend was somebody that he communicated with twice a week so then he understood that that relationship required a little bit more communication as to where I have a high school uh, a friend from elementary school who's been in the military for many many years and we know that even if we only touch base once or twice a year that friendship is forever because we always joke that no one has the secrets we have on each other oh thank you so much and you know I'm notorious I put my tree up the day after Halloween because it makes me feel good and I'm realizing that when you feel good life just moves better so much so so quickly um, so now we know we want to feel good, we want to fuel properly, we want to be respectful of the boundaries or the absolutes in our friendships, finances. I know Lori and John and I are all working on finances so that we can work towards the things that make us feel good and that give back to the community because we care about people. But we have to figure out how to keep the finances in line as we do that. Number five was, are you controlling your direction or are you letting somebody else control? And I've been doing a lot of work with that in my studies the past couple of years because I don't want to be handcuffed to a job. I want to do a job that gives me that feeling of, of, of helping the most and in helping myself. Um, number six today is time management. And he had some interesting theories on time management that I'll share. And then tomorrow is day seven, which is rest and play. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about what was in his chapter today on um, time management. And he kind of pointed out, and I know we all have dealt with this, is that um, stress. Stress makes us feel overloaded. It makes us feel uh, a lack of effectiveness. It makes us feel diminished. And that is back to like even law of attraction that I've been studying. When we feel good, we are able to do more. When, and he kind of even equated it to when you do something that you enjoy, you almost become so absorbed in it that you move forward at such a pace that time gets away from you and you don't even know that time got away from you. And he said, 
we need to try to shift that when we're into a project that we stop focusing on time and that we start focusing on that project that we can get absorbed in it because then we overcome the obstacles and we move forward. I know that's not easy, but he's right. He goes, if you're forever looking at your watch, oh, oh a minute went by, two minutes went by, three minutes went by, you, you, beautiful time disappears and you're not moving forward, which just perpetuates that feeling of not enough time. Um, and I'll say, like even myself, I've made adjustments that not everybody will want to do. I'm up early. Uh, my mom and I have walked about two and a half miles already this morning, meditated, journaled. I'm getting myself ready because I'll be in class. I've got about six to seven hours of class today. But, you know, that's totally fine because I get absorbed in that class and I enjoy it. It's like it's ta it's 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 teaching me an area that has been missing in my life and it's just helping me to complete a circle and for me that feels good but I did have to learn how to feel good about it and to feel good that I'm propelling myself forward on a Saturday and not look at the clock and think that I was giving away my time I'm understanding that I'm I'm giving my I'm I'm encouraging my life to be better I'm not giving away my time what I'm doing is something to make life better and I think that that shift of thought on how you're looking at what you're doing makes such a difference. Um, we can either look at the time that we're spending as a beautiful gift to propel us forward, or we can resent the time that we think we're spending that, and I, in all honesty, what would I be doing on a Saturday? If I wasn't propelling myself forward, would I be looking at a Netflix movie? My mom and I talked about that this morning. In the past two years, I've really worked to study to move forward, and it feels good. I am so hopeful going forward because I know that I'm moving forward. And and focusing on something to, to propel me in a new direction. I know Lori and John, I'm sure they feel... They have so many things in their plate, but but if they look back at what they've accomplished in a year or two years, it's amazing. And that's for all of us. There is some some feel good about moving forward. It at first it's uncomfortable, but when you start to see progress and you realize that the, that you did it in a way to propel yourself forward and you appreciate that gift of moving forward and you appreciate that gift of being able to make better decisions into the future, it feels so much better than looking back and saying, for many, the past two years have been about being idle. And, and, and that breaks my heart, but, but it's never too late. Today, you can do something so that it's not idle and waiting for life to happen to you, but you can start to make life happen for you. And that has been the most beautiful gift and all these new friends that are sharing it with me. Um, if you get stuck in that pattern of uh, thinking that time is getting away from you, that thinking that life is getting away from you, get off the subject. Look for something to feel good about. I know when I'm in my worst busy seasons, I have poster boards of bunnies and four-leaf clovers and beautiful sunrises and beautiful sunsets. Because if I start to shift in that negative place, I just take a minute to reacclimate to something that feels good because just that shift of how I feel helps me dig back in and become absorbed in what I'm doing. It gets me out of that victim mentality. It gets me back into control of my, what I'm doing. It, it gets me to no longer feel like a victim. I get to move forward in a way that feels good. And we're all looking for that feel good moment. We want life to move forward in beautiful ways. Um, he kind of talks about uh, time-saving techniques. Um, again, again, it was those type of things. Sometimes sometimes you idle from fear. Yep, move through fear. Life can move forward. Yeah, and Lori's right. Fear is that negative emotion. And fear, I've been guilty of that a lot. Anxiety and fear caused me to be afraid to take a step. Um, I'll be afraid to trust myself to know what to do. And what we find is, I, I started thinking about it. I'm like, at your age, you've experienced so much. Why do you keep fearing that step forward? And connect yourself with people that are actually doing the same things you are. And we all help each other to have that, the, the guts to keep moving forward. And look for that chance to feel good about it. You know, there's something exciting. I talked to one of the managers in the area that I'm taking this class in. And she goes... I want to tell you, you did amazing on that midterm. And I'm like, 
I did. And I, I, for me, I wanted to do better on it. And what she said is, yeah, you did amazing. And I'm like, well, what I should tell you is that my computer was down for four days before it. When it got up, I just took it and moved forward and just figured that if it was done, I would move on. So what it made me realize is sometimes our expectations are too high and we need to relax and enjoy the ride. Relax and realize that we're in control of it. Just relax and keep moving forward. Make sure that you know that you're headed in the right direction and feel good about it because then the, the, the process will start to get easier because you feel good about it. You feel good that you're moving in a direction. Anyone who's moving forward right now has taken steps, steps farther ahead than probably 80, 90% of the people. We're all moving forward. There's going to be times when it doesn't feel good, but, but try to find something to feel good and it'll shift you back into that productive move forward direction. Um, he also talks about, he, and he does, he keeps reiterating through this chapter. If you start to feel the fear and the dis, the, the, discomfort, look for things to feel good because it'll shift you back into that positive area where you can move forward faster. He says, focus controls your time perception. If you're focusing on feeling good and accomplishing tasks, it helps you with a little bit of momentum. Um, he says, sometimes too, we need to look at a matter of importance versus urgency. If we are looking at items only in the perspective of urgency, we will never feel like we're getting anywhere on the items of importance. And in the sense of urgency, a returning a phone call sometimes, if you let something that's really important, like uh, maybe applying for something that needs to be applied for, you're going to have more pain at the end of the day because you didn't hit that important thing, but you hit 25 urgent things and you just don't feel good when that happens. So it's always about looking for that thing that will make you feel good because you accomplished a task to, to, to send you into the next level. Um, this is something that Tony Robbins talks about, Doc V talks about, Chris Noggle talks about, everybody that mentors us. When you're trying to move forward and do something new, learn from others who have done it before. It will save you years, it will save you hours, it will save you a lot of energy and time, and it will propel you forward faster. Um, it's kind of, he keeps equating it back to, when we fall into those negative emotions, those negative feelings, and we start fueling our body negatively, we end up falling into that circle of not accomplishing things, and then it feels like time is taken away from us. If we can recognize a little bit faster that it is the first step is in starting to feel good, we can start to propel ourselves forward and look for the tools a little bit faster to move forward. I know it sounds, especially since it's an abstract idea, this idea of, of time, but I guess basically it boils down to always try when you're starting to feel like you're falling into that pit, look for something to feel good about, look for somebody who's successful at it and try to use their skills. If something's urgent and something's important, make sure you hit the important thing because it will help you to overcome that hill. And then you can deal with a few of the urgent things, but make sure every day has something that's important that will keep you feeling like you're moving forward. Because he kind of equated it to if you return 50 urgent calls today, but that one deadline gets missed, then you're not going to feel the accomplishment. And if you hit that one thing and you make 45 of those phone calls, you feel more more of a push forward. Um, I'm grateful to you guys for always being here for me. I'm grateful for all the learning I've had from all of you. And together, we'll all grab hands and we'll push ourselves into the most beautiful future. And it's not going to be painful. It's going to be beautiful because the accomplishments I'm seeing everybody do are changing the world. Together, we're going to try to help each other feel good and to celebrate all of the successes we've had on the way. Every one of you is so important to me and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And today is a beautiful day and look for something to feel good about as you're moving forward on your journey. Thank you so much.